welcome, welcome. In the name of the Most High God, and the Yes and the Merciful, I speak. From the Temple of Army in the city of St. Louis, called St. Louis, Missouri, I speak. This is in response to a lot of the conversation that's going on right now between our good Christian brothers concerning God. Who is God? What is God? And we'd like to add our little bit to this thing. We are not in adverse condition with these brothers. And I want that understood. That is not our purpose to belittle, to revile. In other words, we're not here to make enemies. We just like a clarification as to what a thing is. And the topic is God. God is man. And man is God. As I said, in the name of the Most High God, the Nephites and the Merciful, if it was not for that gentleman, none of this would be possible. In the name of Lelachirach, the highest truth, our understanding, Ra Rasul, the first Amun Ra, who was again made known again in the image of man. The first prophet and interpreter of dreams and visions. This man taught mankind as we are today that the idea of God was born among our ancestors. We need to be very clear about that. Then God is the embodying form of a person which is a real likeness or representation of the forces throughout the universe at work. That's who we are saying God is. God is also an embodiment of the essential nature or character of the qualities which exist in the individual. And this exists in animal or in person and makes it symbolic or conception. The idea of God being born among our ancestors, behold, that is to look, this new created world. Out of him comes all religions and conceptions of God unto all mankind. From this sprung gods and goddesses among all the nations around the torrid zone that belts the earth, which was an addition to their empire, how it showed as it is, as it is showing as of now. The birth of God among your ancestors was an arch pattern, an ideal which today is existing as an arch type idea. Out of him comes all religions, all religious ideas. Const conceptions of a God. Christ is Ra, and Ra is the surname 
of Amun. Blessed be the name of Amun Ra, manifested in the image of our Rasul Salam. The supernatural being, this concept of God, has been mistakenly given the title of creator. God is not the creator. The creator is the creator. God is man. God is not the supernatural being. God, as we are taught, is everything good. Now, everything that is good begins with the right qualities, which is being made fit or complete. The next step is to show oneself fit to be finished with the legal power from the Son as a man God. God is the ruler of the world, that is, the inhabitants of the earth, that is, person or animals that live in a place as dwellers. We have God children. God daughters, goddesses, a female God, God father, God giver, suitable, God head, divine nature, God hood, divine character. All of these are definitions of the word that we have used with God. Things to describe who this God is. We have Godship, characters of God, God's speed we ask and we ask someone, we wish somebody well and we say God's speed, which of success to a person, which is success to a person. This is God being everything that is good. The cosmic is vast or very great and immense. The mind which thinks and dwells is God's will. The brain of intelligence, which is the solar intelligence, creations, and artistic production, all of these are definitions of who God the Creator is. The supernatural being is the creator and maker and ruler of the universe, a being that is supreme, a supreme being that is superior to nature and to human beings. The supreme being is the cosmic mind that is intentionally admired and respected as being the highest authority and creator of God, in which there had to be something created for him to be ruler over. I'm do. So the supreme being created life, light, and energy, and created God to be the fathers of these elements. Thus, the Son incarnated into flesh or substance what has been created by supernatural being, which is a wide, which is wide as space itself. It is the infinite power that is without limitations. The supreme being names that we give to the Creator, not God. God is man. The Supreme Being is the highest in power with no limitations 
For it is the universe, it is the universal mind, and universal in thought. Supreme being is a dangerous and vital form that causes another of his creations in which is in turn given life, light, and energy to come forth from the Son, the Father of all life, all light, and all energy. Mm -hmm. When we use that terminology, we say that there's only one creator, and that creator is the Father of all life, light, and energy. And we call that name the S-U-N, the Son. All of us are Son worshipers. This vital force was controlled by Amun, whose surname is Ra, or God, or the Son. Because of this controlling of the vital forces of the heavens, he, Amun, became supreme God in all the lands of Ham. He became the supreme God in the land of Africa long before that you had the religions that people are following today. Therefore, his name, Amen, according to Revelation 3.14, which states that unto the church of the Laodiceans writes these things, says the true and faithful witness to the creation of God. Amen was here before God was even instilled. The man above is the person, is the personification of the Son being man. Christ is a personification of the Son being Jesus Christ, the Son of God, a high priest of Nazareth. Let us repeat that the brain of creation is an artistic production of animal, plants, and man from the whole of the universe as a personification and a parable of what? Of the sun. The 12 signs of the zodiac, that zodiac or sky show that the brain of creation is an artistic production of creation or the creator. After noticing the 12 pictures of the zodiac and reading the parables of the sun in the Fahami Gospel and taking notes of the landscape shows the supernatural being, the creator, and ruler of the universe is expressions of him being the greatest artist in existence. The cosmic mind, the ethereal, or the brain of creation as being unto existence, the animals, plants, land, and fowls of the air is a artistic production of being what they are. Let us remember that the brain of creation created and made an industrious class of men, of might, in word and deed, then created the, then and made the useful class who were the laborers of the industrious and thrifty class, then created and made the useless class. These three principles are the key to the progress and prosperity of the whole concept of who God is and the names that we use for God 
and the names that we say are God. When you say God, you are all, you're either talking about God man or you're talking about God the creator. And we say that the terminology God used for the creator does not give the creator justice. On that basis we say, peace be with you. The salam yar sarak bendi. The salam yar sarak bendi.